Shopping cart shows all network, plugins, and other contents. We're going to see that in the pages that we're creating, we can also add shopping carts. Basically, a shopping cart allows us to create an online commerce website so the users can actually purchase orders through the website. After that, they're going to go through the shopping cart. If they succeed, the products are going to be transferred to a process. Once they're transferred to a process, we're going to manage this process with whatever we need to do. For example, maybe we have to manage the order, update the stock, do the delivery of the products. And finally, the customer is going to receive the, the product. We're also going to see how to use a plugin. A plugin basically is just a bit of code that you add to a page. So all of the options that we've been seeing until now, there are no code. So there's absolutely no code required to build these features. But if you want to add some code, you can do this by using a plugin. The plugin editor allows us to view and edit the plugin. And then all we have to do is add it to a certain space in the page. Here there's some examples of plugins like a word counter, a floating button, a social med uh, media menu, an option to reduce the quality of an image. There could be hundreds or thousands of different plugins you can think about. And you can add, add them to the page by using this option. There's another option, it's called tools, and it allows you to add different tools to the page. For example, you might wanna add a tool to convert uh, text to, well, to speak out loud the, the text, or maybe you want to print some content, or you wanna add a button so people can subscribe to certain content or modifications in your page, options to shorten your URLs. There's also hundreds of examples. So in order to use these options, all you have to do is create this type of content, and add it to your page. You can do this by going to structure, content management, and then in content types, you've got all these different types of content. We're going to see it in the, in the platform in a moment. There's another type of content that's called social network. Basically, it's the same. There's about 300 social networks available, and you can create these links to these different social networks. And when someone clicks on, on these icons or these buttons, what's gonna happen is that a link is going to be generated so that that person can actually share the content that you have on your website in their social networks. We're going to see this in the application. All we have to do is go to content types. And here we can see all the different types of content. For example, we were talking about shopping carts. We were talking about plugins, social networks. Let me open social networks. And here we can see I've already got a couple created. This one's called Facebook and it's gotten access to Facebook. Here I got one that's called Twitter. Let's say I want to create another one. I'm going to call it several. And I'm just going to save and add a couple net social networks. For example, uh, I'm going to add Facebook. And I'm going to add a uh, Chinese one. It's called Maidu. Okay. Here I can preview the result. So this would be the result. Maybe I want this larger icons. There we go. Now I can add this to a page. All I have to do to add this to a page is go to the configuration of a page. And once I'm inside of the page, for example, this one here, I'll go to the layout view and I'll go to any space I have on the page. For example, here, I'll select social networks and here I'll grab whatever social network I previously created. For example, this one that's called several. I'll click save. And now if I want to preview it, I just have to click here and here we'd see the result. So I've added these two social networks to my page. If I want, I could change them or I could also add a plugin or I could add a shopping cart. Let me show you an example of a shopping cart. Here we can see we've got different elements. If we want, we can remove them from the shopping cart. Let's say the first time we enter, obviously there's not going to be any elements here on the shopping cart. So it's going to appear empty. Now, if I say I want 10 of these and I add it to the shopping cart, now my shopping cart has 10 items. If I add 10 of these, we're gonna see it here. And now all we have to do is click accept, go through the payment gateway. And once the payment gateway has, has been passed successfully, 
a process is triggered with all of this data transferred to that process. It would take us a bit more time to configure and show all of the settings for this uh, shopping cart. So this is something we can see in the documentation or in some other course. Exercise 404, part 16 and 17. Thank you for your attention.